that yes has arrived from ASICS, but I'm I'm not going to give you my thoughts on it very much because. Wipe that on. All right, everyone. I remember yesterday we tightened the screws a little bit, tightened the screws down. Feeling it today in the legs, but it feels good to go to work in the Nike Alpha Fly Next Presents. Oh man, if you haven't seen it, it's a lot of people watching it. Upper right hand corner. It was a fun one. Oh, just to get the first run under the belt. All right. Good morning. And I'm walking out of the studio. Here we go. Yesterday, 60 degrees. Beautiful day for a 23 miler, not so much today. So everyone, I decided not to film the run today because it's just a little crazy out there, a little crazy, but I did get my run in. Let me just set the camera up here. Okay, we are set up and ready to go. I'm realizing you probably can't see the ASICS Gel Nimbus Light, which we're gonna talk about today uh, down there. So I'm gonna place it, replace it with a Hoka Elevon right there. And yes, I took the Gel Nimbus Light out for another run today. Now it's 75 miles in these shoes from ASICS. Uh, today's run, 10 miles, 9.15 to 9.20 a mile. Nice and easy, classic bopping along. Yes, a lot of questions on Strava about why am I running so slow? Just gotta go look at yesterday's run and then watch a vlog about, uh, I explain why I run slow in order to race fast. So go check out that vlog if you wanna understand a little bit more of my approach to easy day running. And uh, yeah, there it is on your screen in kilometers. I believe it's 545 per kilometer. So here's the deal. It's snowing out. I was trying to come up with a game plan for today's vlog and I was like, gosh, ugh, I wanted to really film today, but I'm glad I didn't because my hands were freezing by the end of the run. Just told, I definitely wore the wrong gloves today. That was my fault because it hasn't snowed a little while in Denver. So I'm glad I didn't film. But because of that, I was pivoting. Uh, I was thinking, you know what? Let's, I could talk about Hoka. I could talk about Ace, uh, Nike. I could talk about Saucony, but why not talk about Asics and the Asics running shoe 2020 lineup which if you would i mean i would have taken that bet any day if you would have said seth i bet in nine months from now from last summer to this point you will be making a new and yes here's a shout out to a new playlist upper right hand corner that seth you will make a new playlist all about asics running shoes at some point in 2020 i would have laughed i would have laughed I would have taken the, uh, what is it, the over on that or the under? The oh, I don't know. I'm not a betting guy. But anyway, I'm shocked that, yes, today we're talking about the ASICS. We'll start here. The ASICS Glide Ride, the ASICS Evo Ride, the ASICS Nova Blast, and the ASICS Gel Nimbus Light, and a new one just for, uh, just for fun, the ASICS GT 1009. I'll open this up in a minute. So bottom line, it's amazing. Uh, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited. Why competition in the running shoe marketplace? We hear so much about uh, Nike. We hear a lot about Adidas, especially over in Europe. Uh, we're we're hearing a lot more about Hoka in the, let's say the last five years, which is all good. But Asics is a classic company, an older company that I think, as I said in 2019, and I may be eating my words now, maybe lost their way a little bit in the innovation department for running shoes. At least that was my experience over the past five years, by going to running shoe stores, picking up the shoes, holding them in my hands, and just being like, ah, this just doesn't feel good. It feels a little heavy, feels maybe a little stiff. Well, I think ASICS is finally coming around, updating their running shoe lineups. Now, I will say that I do regret in 2019 not purchasing the Meta Ride. So I don't own the Meta Ride, just so everyone knows. The Meta Ride is the high end uh, version of the uh, Guide Soul technology lineup from ASICS. So you've got the Glide Ride, you've got the Evo Ride, and then you've got the Meta Ride. I do not own the Meta Ride. Um, I, I might pick a pair up. Now listen, they're not cheap, $250, but I might wait until summertime to see if they come out with a version two for the Meta Ride. So that's the only shoe that I cannot put into this discussion about 
Asics running shoes. And now rather than go over all of the drops and all of the weights for all of these shoes, again, I made a brand new playlist upper right hand corner uh, with the first impressions and full reviews of all of these ASIC shoes, okay? So go check it out if you really want to go deeper into the stats behind the shoe. Rather, I want to mix these shoes into the running shoe rotation discussion. I'm a little amazed at how this vlog did from about, gosh, maybe two months ago now. I think it's almost at 50,000 views where I basically laid out my strategy for building up a running shoe rotation. Now, what is that? What do I mean by running shoe rotation? Uh, for those that don't know, uh, you know, you have your easy days, you have your tempo days, you have your long run days. And over time, it takes time, takes patience, but over time, and yes, there is a shoe that uh, I think can accomplish many of these tasks that I'll get to in a minute, uh, but over time you can uh, purchase running shoes that pair or match the type of run that you're going on that given day. Uh, so that is one of the goals of this blog today. Okay, and one last shoe that, yes, has arrived from ASICS, but I'm, I'm not going to give you my thoughts on it very much because um, I haven't run in it yet, all right? But it is, okay, so shout out to all of, uh, I do feel a little bad. Uh, these are all neutral running shoes, okay? So people that don't overpronate or supinate uh, too much, uh, this shoe, and I, I, it's just like, that's, how, that's the type of shoe that I prefer, but this shoe has some um, uh, basic, uh, a little bit of stability built into the outsole, uh, mostly, okay? So the hard outsole uh, Asics high abrasion rubber is just really built up on the outsole of this uh, Asics GT1009, okay? So overall, um, and whoa, for all the stability runners out there, $99 on running warehouse right now, $99. I'm excited. And yes, it does have the flight foam midsole that, uh, uh, midsole foam that you also see in all these shoes over here. But bottom line, I cannot wait to try the shoe out, shoe out for all of you. It's just a stability shoe and it's not on the top of my list, but for $99, hello, brand new. That is pretty amazing. All right, now let's dive into the four shoes. Once again, the Glide Ride, the Evo Ride, the Asics Gel Nimbus Light, and the Nova Blast, all right? And I'm gonna start with my favorite. You all know how much I love the Glide Ride shoe. So this has the Flight Foam midsole technology, which provides this uh, really amazing bounce and responsiveness through your foot strike. I use this shoe for my long runs. It's, it's a little heavy. You all, I've said that a lot, it's a little heavy, but the toe off, so the shape of the midsole that you're gonna find in the Glide Ride, in the Evo Ride, and from what I've read, also in the Meta Ride as well, um, it's, it's, it's reminiscent of what Hoka is attempting to do, but uh, the midsole in all, in the Evo Ride and the Glide Ride is just a little more, I'll just say stiff, but not in the sense where your foot is landing and it feels like you're hitting the ground hard, like it's a, a hard landing. It's more um, almost like a, a, a spring. That's like a really tight spring and that just gives you an incredible, from what I have found uh, in all the testing I've done, and yes, I've taken this shoe, I think to 175 miles, a pro right around there, which tells you, you all know, like. That means I love this shoe because I usually don't take shoes to that high a mileage just because there's so many different shoes to test out for all of you. So overall, love the Glide Ride for the long runs. But jumping down to the Evo Ride, um, this shoe is much lighter than the Glide Ride. In fact, there it is on your screen, some stats for you as far as weight versus the Glide Ride Evo Ride. All right, there for you. So definitely a tempo day shoe. Absolutely. Um, I don't think it's an easy day shoe. It's it's just not, it doesn't have quite enough forgiveness through the midsole, but it's lighter, okay? It's lighter than the Glide Ride, and that is why I do believe the Evo Ride would be perfect. If you want a shoe that's dialed into tempo day paces, I think this could be the shoe for you. All right, so loving the Evo Ride, um, even though, and yes, it does, I will just mention, it does have that Asics high abrasion rubber built into the outsole to help increase the durability. All right, moving on to the Asics Gel Nimbus Light. Now, when this shoe arrived at my house, I was a little, um, I wasn't excited. I'll just put it that I was not excited. I was like, ah, this looks like, a, it kind of looks like an old classic Asics that 
uh, from maybe let's say five years ago that just didn't have that um, forgiveness through the midsole as far as landing. But sure enough, I've already, so today, I think pushed me to 75 miles in this shoe, which tells you like, even though I've passed 50 miles, I'm still running in the Asics Gel Nimbus Lite. It has that flight foam midsole uh, foam, and I love the flight foam, just so everyone knows. But it's a little more forgiving than the, definitely more forgiving than the Evo Ride and the Glide Ride, okay? So if you just do the kind of the compression test with your thumbs, just pressing in there, you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's got some pretty good forgiveness, which uh, tells me, so this is what I said in the full review of this shoe, it's the classic daily trainer, classic daily trainer. Um, and can you use it for an easy day? Absolutely, I think it's a, a solid easy day shoe. But like today, 10 miles, yes, I was going easy day pace. Uh, but I think you could also use this shoe for a little more uh, kind of those easy days, steezy days, and even potentially steady days, all right? So I think it's got a little more potential than just an easy day shoe. So if you're looking for an all around daily trainer, I think this would be a good choice. All right, moving on once I, I really like this shoe, everyone. And again, plenty of outsole rubber, uh, that Asics high abrasion rubber, but the rubber, this scares me. I don't like rubber, this much rubber on an outsole. I think for me, when I see this much, it means the landing is gonna be a little too hard. No, 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 no. I don't know what Asics did, but the rubber is durable, but still forgiving, all right? So again, I don't know. I Like I am at 75 miles and I barely, see any wear and tear on this outsole, just so, maybe just a little bit through the forefoot, just a little bit. Okay, moving on to, oh baby, the A6 Nova Blast, okay. So, the and I should say, this is a different midsole foam, the Flight Foam Blast, FF Blast, which um, I need to do a little more research as to how they changed it from, let's say, the Gel Nimbus Light. I think what it basically means is the midsole foam is not as dense and it has a little more bounce, okay? And yes, I'm gonna say the key word for this shoe is bounce. It is bouncy, it is forgiving. And remember I said a minute ago, like what could be a shoe that you could use for a lot of different tasks in your day, in your weekly training? Um, as far as a shoe that, um, as far as a shoe that can accomplish, yeah, accomplish a lot of different tasks, but it's you only need to buy one shoe. This is it. The Nova Blast. One big caveat, you all know, it gave me blisters on my Achilles tendon. I'm, I'm, I'm actually gonna take this shoe out for more running either this weekend or next week. And I'm gonna put Band-Aids on my Achilles tendon just to see if that helps a lot. I don't know what's going on, but other than that issue, this is, oh, this is, <laughs> this, <laughs> this has the potential to be my favorite running shoe so far in 2020 and definitely from ASICS so far in 2020, even despite it giving me those uh, those blisters. So that tells you how much I love this shoe. It's bouncy, it's forgiving. You could use it for easy days. It's Here's the weight of the shoe. So you can also use it for tempo days as well. And I think it's got enough midsole stack height that yes, you could use this for a 15 to 20 mile long run or middle distance run, 100%. And I need to give Asics a call and see if other runners are reporting that they are getting uh, blisters through their Achilles tendon. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. But I'm excited to try this shoe out in the summertime because the breathability through the toe box uh, for those hot, hot summer days, which crazy enough, even though it's snowing outside, they are on the horizon, those hot running days, at least in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, so bottom line, really excited about the Nova Blast. Now, last but not least on your screen, I'm gonna put the Meta Ride right about there, a little snapshot for you because I don't own it, along with some basic stats. The Meta Ride is supposed to be um, you know, potential for a long run shoe, but even a racing day shoe, it, it better be at that price point. Uh, but it's really fascinating that it is a zero drop running shoe. It's, it's kind of gets complex because of how they construct the midsole. But bottom line, I plan to test out the Meta Ride for all of you sooner rather than later. And one more time, here we go. The Glide Ride for your long runs, the Evo Ride for your tempo runs, or I think you could also take this on a track 
and do some 1K repeats or some 800 meter repeats. I don't think I would use it for let's say 400 meter repeats, but absolutely I would take this out on the track and then your gel Nimbus light, just your classic daily trainer. I don't think I would use it for a long run, but a classic daily trainer. Lastly, to accomplish all the tasks in the toolbox, uh, you got your ASICs Nova Blast, ASICs Nova Blast. And of course, this GT1000, which um, for the stability runners out there, uh, I will test this out for you sooner rather than later. I promise, I promise. All right, everyone, question of the day. What is a, uh, what is, which running shoe company has surprised you the most? Let's say in the last six months, 12 months, or the last two years, okay? What running shoe company has surprised you the most with their running shoe innovation, with shoes that you've tested out and, and liked? Uh, for me, hands down, ASICs hands down. It's not even a close contest. So that's the question of the day. Thanks for chiming in. Thanks for listening. And a little update for all of you on some ASICs running shoe. We're just one day at a time here as we work through this uh, global situation together. We've got this, everyone. We've got this. All right, everyone. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. We're going to toss it back to, uh, we'll toss it back to the ASICs Nova Blast full review uh, that was mixed in with some other shoes as well. ASICs Nova Blast right there. Uh-huh. Check it out. All right, everyone. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.